Okay, I have H. I, I have to probably write something after that. So if I have this and uh, A is equal to Before on the other board, you know, that, that, that I became overheated and confused. <laughs> Over there, you, you know, it's like CP, you know, we have both the CPU hub is called this processor in the computer. That's my problem. So if this and this is equivalent, so what does it mean? Uh, let's, mm -hmm. let's, we are somehow okay. So if, if we take, you said that. So you let's take. A, so let's say take A equal to HG inverse. Let's take this for A. Then, uh, so, so what is my, this is my B. Then G inverse is equal to A H tilde. I'm just using this condition, right? I took A equal to this element. Mm -hmm. Then this element, B, that's my B is inverse, is given by this, right? So G H G inverse is equal. So let's write A. Something is Wait, yeah, I'm completely confused. Right? You know, I, I'm completely lost. <laughs> so this would be A, and now instead of G inverse, is it A or A inverse here? Because it doesn't make whatever sense. G inverse, because if I write here instead of G inverse, a H inverse, it doesn't make any sense. Why are you doing okay. So let's check that here I wrote things correctly. So whenever A is equal to H B, then B is equal to H A inverse. Oh, H tilde. So I want to show that this element is an H, right? G, H, G inverse must be an H. I am certainly going somewhere on the tangential. So if A is equal to H, G inverse, H, G inverse, I'm confused. So A is equal to H, G inverse, then of course, Uh, uh, A is equal. What well, this is going on here? H G inverse. No? Then of course G A is equal to H. That's fine. Now, what kind of a new information I'm getting here? It is written that G inverse. So G inverse is equal to. H inverse A. What is written here? G inverse is also A H T. Mm -hmm. That's so this okay. no. So you know I am yeah I'm completely I'm completely lost. I probably have to erase everything and start a new video. Of course, I can cheat on book and your book, <laughs> but it's not interesting. Okay, so once again, well, and help me out because I'm really grossly over here. <laughs> it's interesting. So uh, I have this. If A B inverse is an H, then A inverse B is an H. So if A, B inverse is an H, then of course B, H inverse is also an H, right? Mm -hmm. This is just inverse of this one, right? So if B, A inverse.
course, on Clinton H, then A inverse B is an H no matter what are elements, right? Okay. Okay, so I have this flip. I have this flip. So now, if B inverse, so let's write, if B is equal to H A, that's quality, right? Mm -hmm. Then B is equal to A H tilde. Right? This is equal. Okay, so now what I want, I want uh, G H G inverse. G H G inverse. And now, now I'm okay, I see. Uh, G, H, G inverse. So, look at this product. It's H by A, right? This is B. Then the same B, so that's how I'm putting parentheses now. <coughs> the same B can be written as the same A, A is this, right? H, B, so this is A, G inverse H, G. H A is equal to A H T. So I'm applying it to expression H G inverse. So this is H, this is A, right? So now this is A, this is H tilde. So I can rewrite it. After that, of course, this cancel out. So I don't. I'm sure that the book is more clever because they had more time to think about. Okay, so it's Tuesday now. So look what we have. We have Thursday and next week, right? Yes. Yeah. And so you're now trying to read the book. And so we don't have class on Tuesday, the week of the final? No. We uh, have a class on Tuesday on week of the final if you tell me that you want this class. Oh, that's right. And don't sit here and look at me because mm -hmm. as much as I enjoy it, this, I have other things also to do. Ask me questions.